The story of the collection comes around by the fact that Christian Dior and Duncan Grant have the same birthday. They also had similar lives. Christian Dior, in his private life and his childhood, was always in the country and tending to his flowers. Duncan Grant was living at Charleston Farm, surrounded by beautiful gardens. Granville's quite a structured house and quite formal, and Charleston's a farmhouse with quite a beautiful English garden, but it was a place for them to both be creative, to paint or to design. La maison de Granville a été vraiment très très importante pour Christian Dior qui a dit et écrit même « La maison de mon enfant, j'en garde le souvenir le plus tendre et le plus émerveillé. Que dis-je Je dois tout à sa situation et à son architecture. » Elle est crépie d'un rose très doux, comme il l'a écrit. Et ce rose, on sait que c'est devenu en couture une de ses teintes de prédilection. Charleston, so it came the home of the Bloomsbury Group artists Vanessa Bell and Duncan Grant. All the way through the sort of 60 years that they were living there, they were always decorating parts. They would choose the flowers that they wanted to see in the garden, the ones that they wanted to include in their work, in their still lives and in their decorations. And you can see in the house a lot of the, the flower the motifs come from the garden onto the walls. I mean, Duncan Grant's style, it was really the signature of the Bloomsbury Group in terms of art. But it was very mixed. It worked from figurative to more expressive and very much based on these natural tones through this pastel-y oil paint lens, which really inspired the colors of the collection. There's a print um, which comes from a lily pond screen that they have in Charleston Farmhouse. They have the desk. This artwork gave us quite a lot of license to play in different ways. We have it printed onto cotton seersuckers, micro plancois embroideries that we find on bags and knitwear. It's printed onto reflective bases. So it's almost become a new interpretation of a camouflage. This really traditional Turkish fabric dates back past the 16th century. It's a fabric that was always associated with the Sultan and the royal family, but has only been rediscovered in the last five years. We have other colors in the collection, a really beautiful pink and a sky blue. Kim a voulu qu'on réinterprète les silhouettes bar, mais de manière plus légère. Donc c'est pour ça que cette saison on a utilisé l'organza. Grâce à l'organza, on peut voir par transparence toute la construction interne de la veste. On peut voir tous les points de picotage sur le revers, les boutons bar aussi réinterprétés en organza. Donc on a trois croisures de veste. On a la simple boutonnage, la double boutonnage et l'oblique. Et nous avons à chaque fois la version manteau et la version veste. Donc voici la veste du look qui ouvre le show classique, double boutonnage, mais avec un détail de col amovible dessus. Donc le col amovible se compose d'un vrai col avec un feutre en dessous et d'un revers et dont la fin de parmenture finit en forme de manche. Ce tissu, c'est un mélange de coton et de soie, ce qui donne sa brillance naturelle. Donc voici notre interprétation tailleur de la veste du jardinier, vraiment dans l'esprit veste de travail. Donc c'est pour ça qu'on retrouve des éléments workwear comme les rivets, la patte de boutonnage décalée. On retrouve aussi de l'organza sur cette veste pour rester dans le thème, notamment au bas des manches et autour des poches. La collection de footwear cette saison, elle s'articule autour de quatre thèmes. Kim voulait quelque chose qui résume le jardinage, les promenades. La plus technique, c'est la sandale. On a travaillé sur l'idée du canage basculé. Tout est guidé par la forme et le mouvement du canage. Ce qui était super important, c'était de pouvoir avoir quelque chose qui soit aussi contemporain, des formes dynamiques qui s'apparentent beaucoup plus à de la sneakers. We started to do researching with Kim and it led in a very outdoor direction. So the idea was to then approach a brand and do a collaboration. Mystery Ranch is based in Bozeman, Montana right next to Yellowstone National Park. We really pride ourselves on building some of the most demanding gear for the most demanding users in the world. Built stuff for wildland firefighters. One of the most important aspects of keeping the design language that Mystery Ranch puts into a bag like this is maintaining the three-zip design. We have all custom metal pieces, which is iconic from our house. We get both sides coming together to collaborate on something that's both technically performs really well and has like a very nice refined look to it. I like the idea of it becoming a path from Granville to Charleston. I just love the idea of bringing them together in one set. The request we received from Dior was to reproduce the two firm houses. To make the house as much as real possible, we did the door in the real scale. 
and the windows are not in a real dimension. They are completely in scale, so it works perfectly if you can see them in a the correct distance from them. The music is based around a piece of mine called Spring One. Spring One is part of Recomposed, which is a trip through the four seasons. It's about growth, things coming together, new life, and it has a kind of feeling of things going up. Christian Dior and Duncan Grant, both these men, have been sort of in the background of my life and now in the foreground of my life. <laughs> 